A plan to slap a lifelong visa ban on all Nauru and Manus Island refugees could also clear the way for their removal from the island. The government remains in talks with other countries to take and resettle dozens of families, but it's not prepared to say which ones. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. That's our part, she was schools. Right. right in the middle of one very large island among descendants of the first Australians. Wow. The Prime Minister's eternally vigilant about locking out would-be Australians on the tiniest of islands far offshore. Because we decide who is coming here, we don't outsource that to the people smugglers. His cabinet's pushing a bill into Parliament next week so that no refugee processed on Nauru or Manus Islands could ever get a visa to Australia of any kind or at any time. So there is the very real prospect uh, that somebody would go to a third country and then would seek to come to our country at some future point. Until now, that very real prospect of visa access has been limited to a small number of refugees. But what if the government was about to strike a deal with third parties prepared to take more and issue them a passport? We have constantly been looking for resettlement options and no, I'm not confirming which countries. The law would also put a block on visa-free entry from New Zealand if that country settled Nauru refugees and its Prime Minister's none too keen on such restrictions. I haven't seen any evidence to support that there would be a position where someone could come to New Zealand, ultimately gain New Zealand citizenship and not have the rights to travel over to Australia. If not New Zealand, then for some other country, the government's getting its house in order for the potential movement of refugees off Pacific Islands. But it's doing so only if it gets to say none is allowed to step foot in Australia. It requires Parliament passing a bill and it's testing Labor. Many on its backbench have already decided to ban them for a lifetime is just absurd, says one Tasmanian senator. Another describes the bill as this cruel law. And Western Sydney doctor Mike Freelander's prognosis, it's very sick. On its face, this idea, without any detail about whether or not it gets people out of the facilities, out of the camps, this idea on its face does seem ridiculous. Caucus won't decide until after it sees the bill next week. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.